Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. In today's episode, I want to talk about KPMG. They just unveiled what they are calling our impact plan. And KPMG is bringing together their global organization's environmental, social, and governance commitments under one umbrella. And this is all from a press release, which is pretty interesting because I was seeing uh, news on Business Insider about the ESG requirements, and I guess uh, the Davos Summit and the World Economic Forum are meeting. It's all kind (laughs) of crazy how this is coming together. But what this press release talks about is the KPMG's One Impact Plan, or Our Impact Plan, is part of their roadmap to become net zero by 2030. And we've talked about this before. And it's also a commitment to increase inclusion and diversity to drive sustainable growth for clients and stakeholders. So not only is this have to do with the environment, it's also going to increase inclusion and diversity. Um, I mean, this is a press release they released everywhere. Everybody's picking it up. So I wanted to go over it too. And this includes progress against newly created stakeholder capitalism metrics and specific commitments across four categories. Number one is planet, two is people, three is prosperity, and four is governance. And it says the plan catalogs current data across the global organization and reports against metrics outlined in a report created by the World Economic Forum which if you research, apparently runs the world now and is drafted in consultation with its international business council titled measuring stakeholder capitalism, which KPMG had a key role in shaping. And it says that here, but that international business council was created in conjunction with the big four. And I think bank of America to help come up with metrics for all this ESG stuff, man, is this ESG stuff just taking over the world out of nowhere. It's part of this global reset thing that came out of COVID and they're just pushing all this weird stuff. Um, I mean, it's all comes from the world economic forum, but the big four are, I guess, tied in with that pretty heavily because they work with the largest clients in the world and KPMG's global chairman, Bill Thomas said the following by harnessing our convening power digital capabilities and expertise, KPMG has an opportunity and responsibility to help shape and lead some of the critical issues the world faces. Doing so is core to our purpose to inspire confidence and empower change. Now is the time to improve how we do what we do for the better, and we can jumpstart that momentum by measuring our actions, learning from each other, and holding each other accountable. Our impact plan is only a start. And we know we need to do more, but it is a step that will help KPMG become an even better organization. End quote. I love that quote. It's hilarious. KPMG was like the last big four accounting firm to sign on to this um, ESG standards or, I mean, net zero by 2030. And this net zero is, this net zero thing was invented as part of, I think, UN SDGs. And I think they're going to talk about that a little bit. But it's all this global organizations, World Economic Forum and the UN. But the global head of corporate affairs at KPMG, Jane Laurie, had the following to say. The challenges we face in our world were put in the spotlight in 2020. (laughs) Sorry, I had to laugh there. Reminding us all that we need to act now to make a difference. KPMG has already made some important progress, but we know we have a long way to go. Our impact plan brings together our collective ESG commitments in one place allowing us to measure our progress and hold ourselves accountable. We're also in a privileged position working with many global and local organizations, large and small, who are committed to addressing these world issues, and together we can make a real difference. 
And what's also said is that our impact plan reaffirms KPMG's longstanding commitment to the UN Global Compact Principles while delivering against the UN Sustainable Development Goals, which are SDGs. And over the coming months and years, these global commitments will be strengthened and progress will be reported openly. End quote from her. And the highlights from our impact plan will be, number one, planet. We have pledged to become a net zero carbon organization by 2030 through reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 50%, achieving 100% renewable electricity and offsetting our residual emissions. Like, how are they ever going to measure that? Two people. In 2020, we created a collective action plan drafted with input and participations from thousands of our colleagues, which will set ambitious goals for workplace diversity and equality. In other words, it will set ambitious goals. They haven't done it yet, and who's going to measure that or keep them accountable? Number three, prosperity. KPMG's partnerships with UNESCO, which I guess is a UN organization, and other organizations helped us to support severely impacted by support people severely impacted by the learning crisis. I didn't know there was one. And through a recently launched KPMG Impact Network, KPMG firms are supporting clients on their journeys towards sustainability and shaping the future ESG agenda. And number four, governance. In 2020, we updated our global code of conduct and refreshed our values. I didn't realize that, or maybe maybe we talked about that before. We're also using our position and expertise to help harmonize ESG metrics, which includes our work with the WEF, which is the World Economic Forum, IBC, and the International Business Council to create the stakeholder capitalism metrics. I have no idea what that means. In addition to having accepted positions at the IIRC, TCFD, Corporate Reporting Dialogue, and SASB, among others. Wow. So that's the press release on this ESG, our impact plan thing. And it's this might seem innocuous. It might seem like it's not that big of a deal, but it's, it's crazy, right? KPMG is having this crisis, or not a crisis, but... In the middle of COVID, they laid a bunch of people off. They had a bad year financially. And, and they're out here and they're out here trying to solve the world's problems. I think what they need to do, and, and I think somebody commented on a video, and they are trying to do is communicate to their employees what their plan is of how they're going to make money, how they're going to grow, and how they're going to take care of employees. And they also need to reassure their clients that they're doing okay. But the problem is, is they've been tapped by this world organizations that if you want to do business around the world, you got to sign on to these SDGs and ESGs and all these other acronyms, right? Which is a bit concerning because of all the crises going on in the world right now, we don't need these weird ESG standards that they're forced to push forward. And ESG standards are beneficial to the big four because it makes companies report a bunch of more information uh, other than financial information. And the big four are the ones that came up with it. The big four in, in uh, some banking companies and the World Economic Forum. And this is going to hold companies accountable globally. It's just going to be more money for the big four accounting firms and, and less money out of the biggest companies in the world. So in the economic crisis, they're going to have to invest more money into reporting these global standards and they're going to make these up as they go because this climate change stuff, you know, net zero carbon, what does that even mean? Um, it's almost impossible to measure this stuff. You just have to, you know, make it up as you go. hundred percent renewable electricity. They're just going to hire a consultant to put together something that shows that they're relying on hundred percent renewable electricity. Um, but that's the update for today. There's a, just an, another proof that ESG standards are growing. And if you want to grow your career in a growing area in the big four accounting firm, these ESG standards are very important to learn, but also you should get to know World Economic Forum and the Davos Group or Institute, whatever it is. Um, the UN SDGs, you should learn about these because these are becoming more and more important and they're setting the tone globally for the largest companies in the world.
So that's the podcast for today. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, support us financially through the Buy Me a Coffee link. If you can't do that, there's tons of other stuff in the show notes to this where you could help us out. Um, but other than that, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video on our YouTube channel. Thanks for listening.